Good morning. It's lovely to connect with you today. My name is Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to create a space of healing and support for you and to check in and see how you're doing. I'll just wait for a few more people to come in before I ask how you're doing. But I suppose if you're already hearing me or you're watching the replay, let, please let me know. Um, I'll just see if the cat wants to come and say hello. She was sleeping over in the corner. I didn't see her, but she came out as I started talking. Come and say hello to our friends. Here she is, Miss Puss. Good morning from Tasmania. <laughs> okay, I'll put, pop her down. So welcome. Um, so I'm coming to you live from Tasmania, Australia. It is Saturday the 7th of January, I think. And is it the 7th? Yes, Saturday the 7th at 9.38 a.m. And um, I want to send out an extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So I want to check in and see how you're doing a little bit more today than I typically do in my videos because I'm focused on what I'm doing. So I want to invite you to let me know how you are. Um, let me know if you've got any questions or anything. I'm not doing guidance or anything for people, but if you need some, if you would like my thoughts on something or some advice on something, um, if you're struggling to let go, for example, um, I can give you some tips probably. So whatever, if there's anything that's on your mind that you're struggling with, I'm going to keep an eye out more in the comments in this video. Um, so my plan is to watch the comments and pull a healing energy card for us all for now and the cat, it seems. And then I'm going to play my, uh, my big singing bowl. It's huge. <laughs> uh, I'll play that for a bit as well. So we'll do a bit of sound healing and then I will pull a card to go. So welcome, Sam. Let me know how you're doing in the comments if you would like to. And I am going to pull a card now to see what the majority of us need at this time. So what's the best card that we need right now in this moment? So the best card for the majority of us. Oops. Okay. <laughs> I really look forward to having my real decks arrive so I, they stop being slippery because I'm currently shuffling 110 photos, basically, which are great for templates, but makes very slippery cards for shuffling. But OK, now it seems we're on track. So let's look for the best card that the majority of us need right now. And that card is this. Hi Dave, hi Daniel, we have this, I love this card, card 79, Reset, it's a new one from the Healing Energy Cards deck number two, and it's in the neutral category here, and down here it says, it's a chance to start over, oh, that came up in the weekly guidance, didn't it, for Friday, I think, a chance to start over, a chance to start fresh. Um, it says uh, an opportunity exists now, the unknown, the void, a fresh start. I said that too. Potential, the blank canvas. I said that as well. Anything is possible. Be proactive. So this is really aligned with the um, weekly guidance that I shared with you on Wednesday. And this is the re like pressing the reset button, especially pressing the reset button on something in our life that may be uh, isn't working, maybe something that's come to an end that we keep holding on to. What is it that we need to press the reset button on to start afresh? Maybe things have become too complex in some aspect of our life. And, you know, sometimes things go out, blow out of proportion. Sometimes conflicts become almost like wars and then we forget why the conflict started in the first place. So if we have these sorts of things going on in our life, maybe there's, um, maybe it's good to consider if or are we ready to hit that reset button and, and maybe start afresh, start over again. 
consider that blank canvas that's before us. What do you feel about that? How does that resonate with you right now? Oh, Facebook still hasn't fixed their comments problem from goodness knows how many years ago. Um, Tricia says full, it's a full moon over here. Yes, we had a beautiful full moon. Well, it was a very full moon. I don't know if it's full yet uh, last night or if it was full. But yeah, beautiful from New Jersey in the US. Welcome, Tricia. And Sam says, I'm slowly moving forward since the death of my husband in October 29th. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sam. She's restarting her life. Well, actually, <laughs> that card really fits in for you and sending my love and condolences for your loss. Trisha says this totally resonated with me. And Anita, hi, Anita, resonates with Anita too. And Patricia says, hello. Okay, so the reset. Let's grab a second card to add with this before I play the singing bowl. Maybe more information on what needs to start or to to reset for us if especially if we're not sure for some maybe you are super clear for me i can't think of anything at the top of my head that needs to restart although things will be starting up again as far as getting back into things after the summer a bit of a summer break so that won't be happening though for another couple of weeks so it doesn't really affect me right now so I'm very interested to find another card that connects with this reset card um, to go with it so the best card to support the reset card for the majority of us is this ah interesting card 75 new beginnings it's in the action category and down here in fact this resonates this supports really well what I talked about yesterday in yesterday's video actually yesterday's support video it says walk forward courage fullness ripe fertility creativity birth a bright future ahead the unknown uncertainty prepare ready take action and move so this is really talking about the new that's calling us forward so there might be something old or something that's happened, something from the past, something that's not working for us anymore that we need to hit that sort of reset button on so that we can move forward into the new beginnings that call us forward. As I drew this picture, it felt like steam or old stuff pulling or releasing from the whole back of the body as the front of the body full about to birth new things in her or our lives like she's really full and ready to birth something new and this is all like enticing and pulling her forward or pulling us forward so there is something new that's imminent for many of us and for some of us that may feel that uh, we'd like something new to happen but nothing's really happening then maybe this reset card is appropriate to deal with first to really think about what needs to start over again um, how you can create a blank canvas and what might be possible what needs the reset button pressed on your life so welcome everyone if you just joined in I am um, dealing with comments a little bit or not dealing with I'm watching comments more in this video so if you've got anything on your mind, how you're doing or anything at all, please let me know. I'm not pulling cards for individuals, but I'm happy to offer any advice if you're stuck on something. And uh, thanks, Anita. Uh, Victoria is waving. <laughs> Hi, Victoria. Celeste says, I'm starting over with my youngest grandson, watching him while parents work. Just finished with another grandson who just went to kindergarten. Oh, that sounds cute. Good luck with that, Celeste. Sorry about the delay. The comments are jumping. Uh, Bridget says, love that back on schedule and the new beginnings. Tricia says, yes, take action and move. Victoria says, I'm ready for new beginnings. And hi, Teresa. Teresa says, full moon blessings. Okay, let's grab the singing bowl my big Tibetan one I can't hold it up for long because it's quite heavy I'm going to play this for a few minutes to really support 
the reset for you if that's where you're at and you need to reset things. If things are getting out of control or out of hand and you need that blank canvas again, that reset button pressed, then maybe focus on that while you're listening to the bowl. If you're being really pulled into new beginnings and you're about to birth something new in your life and you feel it's imminent, it's about to drop for you, it's about to arrive for you, then maybe focus on that. Um, or if there's something else more pressing that you need at this time, then maybe you need some support or strength or healing for your body or something else, then I trust that you know what you need and you receive it from the bowl. So I'm going to play it. There's nothing you can do wrong. Just listen and let the sound of the bowl support you and hold you and do whatever it is that you need. And I will chat with you when we're done. Nice big breath. big breath you know, you know I feel so peaceful playing that like this just this really be, big deep reassurance that everything's going to be okay so whether things feel muddled and you're figuring out where things fit and where things line up in your life or you're approaching a new beginning or you've had endings happen in trying to figure out which way's up and which way's down there is this just this deep feeling with the bowl that everything's going to be okay and this really deep reassurance and support and almost a peace too that enveloped with that that is so reassuring so if you're if you're here and you're there's a part of you a big part or a small part of you that wonders you know is everything going to be okay is it going to work out there's such a big uh, I mean even just saying the words doesn't really encompass what I'm feeling with this it really is going to be okay it really is. So hopefully you can feel that in your body and uh, reassure yourself perhaps as you go if you need that, that, you know, reassuring yourself constantly that everything is going to be okay. Everything is working out. So, you know, 
that's what I'm feeling. How are you doing? Are you feeling okay over there? If you just joined in, I was playing the singing bowl with these two cards in mind. Reset, starting over, and new beginnings, which is self-explanatory. So I'm going to pop those back in the deck and I'll get ready to pull a card to go. just want to check over the comments. I'm just paying more attention to the comments in this particular video, so just bear with me a second. And we'll go up to... Oh, okay. Oh, Facebook, honestly. Um, okay, let's see where we're at. Um, okay. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, so I can see two comments at a time and every time I touch it, it just jumps to some random place. So we'll go here and I'll try not to touch too much. Okay, Anita, I see. Okay, excellent. I think I'm back to roughly where I was. Bridget. Bridget, hi Bridget. Bridget says, love that back on schedule and new beginnings. Yes, I think I talked about that before. Um Trisha says, take action and move. Love this and the reset. And I'm ready for new beginnings. Aren't we all? There's such a nice, fresh energy around at the moment. Uh, full moon blessings to Teresa, if I haven't said that already, which I think I have. And Derek, hi Derek, says, seems like resetting approach here in North Atlantic. Huge east moon rising today, 4 p.m. with the sunset. That sounds beautiful. Yeah, I really connected with that last night for us. The moon coming up and the sun setting. It's so beautiful, especially this time of the year. For us here in the south, or for me, I feel resonant with it because it's sort of midsummer, or it's actually early summer, really, in all honesty, um, in the reality of it, you know. Trisha says, This is perfect, listening with a cup of tea. And Bridget's getting ready to prepare a launch. Sounds interesting. Excellent. Uh, Teresa loves the bowls. Inningberg, welcome, says love new beginnings soon midnight in Norway. Beautiful. Jackie says, I'm glad I caught this. Hi, and Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, excellent. All right, let's grab a card to go. So I'm looking for the best card that the majority of us need now as we move forward from here. So what do we need to know? How can we um, use and work with the energy that's come up for us as individuals? The resetting, the new beginnings, whatever it's been for you, the reassurance perhaps if you needed that. How can we work with that in our life over the next sort of 24 hours? Welcome Daisy, thank you. So the best card that the majority of us need now to move forward from here and prepare to turn this off and go into our everyday life and whatever that might be for us is card 81, Traditions. It's in the action category. And down here it says endurance, wisdom gained, maturity, knowledge, research, the elders, the patriarch, learning from the past, Passing of knowledge and values, stories and sharing. So this this really anchors us into that patriarch, patriarchal energy and the old energy, the traditional energy as well that some of us may be connecting with, especially being a full moon and a lot of you sound like you're really enjoying the full moon now. It's passed on for us here uh, in Tasmania anyway. But um, that really is a tradition that goes back, isn't it, from, gosh, probably from when man first arrived or however it first started we were most likely or taken and or inspired by the moon especially when the moon was full so there is this sense of tradition that's coming up and especially that wants to come up for us now moving forward and how we can maybe look back on how um, our parents or how people we know may have dealt through change or, or, got, or dealt with change that we might be going through at this time, something similar. I know when I was like raising my children, especially when they were young, I was often thinking about how I was raised and, and things about that that I did or didn't want to carry forward. And I think this sort of energy, this going back, this thinking back, or even asking people, elders in our family, 
or elder people we know or even people that have been through maybe a similar experience to what we're going through now that we might be struggling with any advice or any help or any anything that they might be willing to offer to share with us to help us through this time and by through that interconnection whether it's by thinking back or asking or or whatever it might be it keeps us connected to those traditions and that really important um it feels to me like an almost an ancestral path and these these ancestors that have walked before us and that I, I often feel that I carry that we but me specifically because I feel it for me but maybe you resonate with it too that I carry this torch on behalf of my ancestors and my loved ones in spirit that aren't here right now and so I, I've been given this really important responsibility of carrying this torch or this lantern this flame of life with me now and I'm not I don't want to waste it Life is so precious and, and all those people that have walked before me and walked before us, um, you know, their life really passes by in an instant and life does do that. So I think if we're holding the torch right now, which we are because we're alive, then we're very lucky and it's a very precious and sacred responsibility for us to carry that. So let's make the most of our life. Let's um, learn from the past Let's work together with others. Let's um, create a life that we are happy with or proud of or uh, feel grateful for. It's really quite special. Uh, and I feel like this all really comes through from that traditional, really that patriarch energy that is that tradition. It is that consistency. It is that constant it is like the sun that reliably comes up or is reliably there. And for us, it appears each morning or each day and then disappears at the sunset. But it's a constant. It's there. Just like our beautiful male uh, people around us. So let's not underestimate the power of the patriarch in a good way. I think it's getting poo-pooed a lot at the moment, but yeah, it's actually really important in the balance of things. Um, so let's see how that resonates and fits. And I'll be giving that some further thought for me personally today and how I want to carry that forward. Are there? I'll be thinking of, is there someone I need to reach out to, maybe a male or a family member, an elder to connect with, um, share stories with? passing on the knowledge and values that we learn. I mean, there's so much we can learn from the past. It seems like common sense to me. So tra uh, traditions is our card moving forward. See how that resonates with you. Thank you so much for connecting. Um, lots of gratitude and very interesting. Yes, thanks. Hi, Daisy. And... Excellent. Looks like people are resonating. Fantastic. Have a great rest of your day and thanks so much for joining me today. I will connect with you again soon. Take care. Bye.